Okay, for this next demonstration, I will be using the batch process tool to attach a specific model of my title sheet DGN to place a legend on each of my sheet DGNs. Um, since these have already been cut and set up, um, each DGN will be in a different location based off of that roadway alignment. However, I will leverage the fact that the DGN with the legend was created at the XY equals zero zero coordinates. So I'll be able to use that to quickly place that new attachment in the correct location and with the correct orientation. As we previously did with the level off command script, I'm going to run through the key ins first in the dialog to make sure that the command script I'm going to write is written correctly. OK, so in the key in, first we're going to go and type in the reference attach key in. So I'll type in reference. Add. Once I hit enter, there should be a Windows dialog box that opens, and I'm going to go and look for the file here that I want to attach. So it's going to be under our base files and in this roadway test folder. The model will be the SW3P legend, and I'll go ahead and hit OK to attach it. So it should be attached. Now, instead of moving the reference dynamically with my cursor, I'm going to go back to the key in and call upon my next command, which will be reference move. OK, so it looks like we will need to select this reference. And obviously, it'll be selected by Type in, in the name of the reference. So let's call upon the reference move key in once more. And notice now that the prompt asked me to enter a point to move from. To do that, I'm going to go back into the key in and type in xy equals zero, comma zero and hit enter. And notice that if I move my cursor back into the view, you'll notice that my reference is now attached to the bottom left. The bottom left of my reference is attached to my cursor. So I'm going to go ahead for this next point. It will be a user, into, uh, a user input point, and I'm going to go ahead and match it to the bottom of our my DGN border. So once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and select the next key in. And I'll, I'll mention once we're writing the command script how to have the process wait for the user input data point. Okay, so next we will need to rotate the reference. So we'll call upon the key in reference rotate. And then we want to use the, op, the point option. So I'm going to type in point and hit enter. Now it's asking me to enter the pivot point for reference rotation. And in this case, once again, we're going to be putting using two user input data points. And so the first one will be the pivot point here. And then I'll grab one along this edge and match it along my left side, my leftmost side of my sheet border. And you'll notice that my legend for that W3P has propped up in the correct spot. OK, and then to make sure that the sheet is front and center. I'll call upon the fit view extended key in, which will fit my view. And then as good ending command, I'll type in file design to save my settings. OK, so let's go and build this script now. Once again, I'm going to go back into the batch process tool select the create new command file and go to my new command script. Since I'm trying to attach a reference here, I will call this attach ref as a batch process or as a command script name. Hit save. Okay, now before I start typing in the reference attach key in, I do want to make sure that when the process 
prompts me for my first user data point. I'm set up in the view such that it's easy for me to find the um, the sheet border. And so to do that, I don't know that whenever I don't know if whenever the batch process is opening up each of these sheets, you know, if the last person that opened these sheets up saved them and and put them and put the sheets in the in in the actual view. Um, I don't want to go looking for the seat, right? So to do that, I want to make sure I hit fit view extended first in order to make sure that that seat is showing up and is easily located. Um, I can easily locate it. So once I do the fit view extended, then I can go ahead and do the reference attach. The reference attach, if you remember correctly, the program asked me to dictate which file I wanted to attach. In this case, it's going to be that roadway test file. Then I'm going to put in a comma. And I do want to mention that to, to the command script that we're attaching, specifically the WS3P legend model. I'm going to type in a comma and then the name of the model. Once I type in the name of the com of the model, it's going to be followed by six commas. I'm going to type in one, two, three, four, five, six. We can look at the Bentley Microstation Connect help site to figure out what each of the spots between the commas uh, and and kind of what they what they stand in for. Most of these are for the model name, the logical name, description, and then what scale and what a, the, the reference will come in and whether the nesting is turned on or off. Okay, so now we got that, we're gonna go and move into the next EN, and that's gonna be the reference move. We're gonna type in reference move. Once again, type in the name of our reference. And then in that same line, we're going to go ahead and type in a semicolon. And then if you recall correctly, the, we were prompted to type in the first point. And that first point was going to be xy equals 0, 0. The next point was going to be where we wanted to move reference to. And that was a user input data point. And so for that, we're going to type in percentage B. This will let the script prompt the user to place the point interactively, okay? The next key in that I'm gonna type in is kind of just to for myself to confirm that the point was pr placed correctly. And so I'm gonna go ahead and type in batch process pause. So like I mentioned, this is just for the batch process to pause for a second so I can review and make sure that I've moved it to the correct spot. Okay, next key in will be our reference rotate. So I'll type in reference rotate. Once again, the name of the reference. And then similar to the move line, I'm going to type in a semicolon. And then this one required two user input data points. So I'll type in percentage D, semicolon, and another percentage D here. And then once again, I'll call upon the batch process pause key in in order to make sure that I've rotated to the correct orientation. And then finally, I'll do another fit view extended just for good cause and a file design. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and hit file save here. Close the notepad. And then for the purposes of this demonstration, I will go ahead and remove all of the sheets in that folder and actually only bring in the first two sheets so that we can see this working here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and attach just the first two sheets here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and run our batch process job have those two seats there. We'll go ahead and click on, pro well, I 
actually before I click pause this, let me close this key in here and move this up so I can see my sheet correctly. And then I'll go ahead and click process. So for the first user input, I'm going to go ahead and select this bottom. And then now that I know that I've selected that correctly, I'll hit continue. It moves me over to select the reference. And so I'm going to go ahead and grab this and orient it correctly. And once I know that it's oriented correctly, I'll go ahead and hit continue. It'll fit view, save settings, and move into the next DGN, where I'll perform the same function here of moving it, making sure those bottom left points are in the same spot, hitting continue, and then grabbing that reference and rotating it to its correct orientation. So once I hit continue, it'll hit It'll fit my view, save settings. It looks like it's done. So all of this was processed pretty quickly. So I'll go ahead and hit done. And that's that kind of wraps it up for the attach reference command file. Thank you guys.